Bailey and Shotzi had a qualifier. AJ was doing commentary for this match. And uh, Bailey ends up grabbing. This finish was ridiculous. And even AJ on commentary was like, this is totally ridiculous. It was. Bailey grabs her by the hair right in front of the referee, uses her hair to ram her into the buckle, and then hits her finish and pins her. And AJ's like, dude, she's pulling the hair, buddy. And the ref's looking right at all of this. So that was stupid. And then afterwards, you know, AJ's getting up and he's kind of yelling. And all of a sudden, Scarlett comes down to the ring. She blows red powder in AJ's face. Cross appears behind the announcers, chokes him out. So AJ and Cross, now a feud. Well, well, they 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 had actually been done that before. They just did the match a couple weeks ago when AJ won. And now it's going to be AJ and Mi Chin against um, Scarlett. And oh, a mixed Cross tag now. Mixed tag, mix, mix tag next, next Friday night. Yeah. Next Friday night. Bianca is yelling at Pierce backstage because she wants to beat up Asuka for what happened. And Pierce says, listen, I've got a new title belt I'm giving Asuka tonight. I don't want this screwed up. So listen, you're going to get a rematch if you just let it go tonight so I can get this thing done. And Bianca says, all right, as long as I got a rematch, I'm going to leave this thing alone. So Pierce goes down to the ring, calls out Asuka, presents her with the brand new what he calls... The WWE Women's Championship. Yes. They're no changed. longer saying Raw and SmackDown. Right. And, and then uh, Rio will probably be the World Women's Championship. Yes. So it's no longer a red belt. It is exactly like the men's belt. It's just got gold in the middle. So that is how they've solved this problem of champions going from brand to brand. There are no more Raw and SmackDown champions. You're yeah. just the world champion or the WWE champion. Yeah. So she gives her the or, belt. Or maybe, maybe it'd be universal. Could be, yeah. So uh, they give her this belt, and then Charlotte returns. And Pierce says, listen, I know what you're trying to do, but you got to get in line. And Charlotte says, I don't wait in line. I made the line. I want that belt. So, Asuka, I'm challenging you for the title. Asuka screams, I accept. She goes to Mr. her. Charlotte avoids it, beats her ass, sends her packing. And then, of course, later on in the show, Bianca is very upset because she was promised a rematch, and now this match is happening. And sounds like sounds like some of the pro golfers. Pierce tells her, "I'm gonna make it good." Yeah, you Let's hear about the pro the pro golfer situation? No, what's going on? So um, it's actually really interesting. The um, well, the Saudis. I know about the Saudis. So the Saudis went to buy you know all the top golfers, and and many of them came because they offered so much money. And they started their own golf uh, league, Live Golf which they had trouble getting on TV. They finally got it on TV, did horrible ratings, um, brutal, brutally bad. And, um, you know, it looked like they were uh, going nowhere. And then the PGA merged with them this week. And all, a lot of the golfers um, who were offered huge money from the Saudis turned it down out of either loyalty to the PGA or the idea that it's blood money. You know, they had morals and everything. And, um, you know, including Tiger, you know, um, they just basically said that, you know, we don't want to do it. So, and the the um, golf establishment, you know, PGA were telling the fight, the, uh, the golfers, you know, it's like, look at, you know, these people and blah, blah, blah. Do you really want to do business with them? And now they're merging. So all those uh, golfers that were, you know, basically being loyal to the PGA and turning down the money uh, kind of, the PGA was not, you know, turned out to be very hypocritical to them. Although, understandably, I mean, I I understand why this happened. You know, it's like, um, you know, I mean, number one is money talks. And number two is the, the PGA uh, didn't want to get in, you know, even though a lot of the golfers stayed with the PGA, they didn't want to get in a money fight with this group that has $620 billion earmarked towards sports entertainment and and sports washing and everything like this uh 620 billion dollars um you know that's a lot of money to 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 get golfers and they just said okay we'll just uh you know merge with you and take you in as a partner if you're going to spend that kind of money so they decided that uh you know i guess uh after telling everyone how horrible this was uh, they decided these these people are for for you know that you shouldn't you know more morally you shouldn't do business with them. They morally did business with them or immorally or whatever you call it. Amazing how that happens. 
Yeah, yeah. I didn't I didn't expect it. You know, I thought that like the I mean I, I, I can't say I didn't expect it would ever happen because money talks, but you know, just this early I was really surprised that they made that deal. But understandably, I mean you're looking at the future and it's like, you know, in the future they have so much more money than we do that we will lose um unless we become friends with them. So let's become friends with them. And that's what happened. We had Paul meeting with Jay, who's taping his wrists for the match tonight. And he says, you know, you left me hanging. That's a good cliffhanger. But get your passport ready. You're going to Money in the Bank on Roman's private jet. And uh, you're going to be there. There's going to be a public announcement that Jay is being groomed as the next tribal chief. That's next week. And then he wants a handshake. And Jay says, I don't know why you're so happy. Because if I'm in the bloodline, you're out of the bloodline. And Paul does not like hearing that. Adam Pierce segment, as we noted. Baron Corbin versus Butch. Money in the Bank qualifier. Trick and... That, that lasted a couple seconds. Carmelo were in the front row. Yeah, this went like two minutes. Corbin got distracted yelling at Mello. Butch, uh, Butch turned a choke slam into the armbar... Into an armbar cradle. God's been... Let me tell you something. If Brian Danielson sees his finish... He's going to slap Butch because this guy wasn't putting any weight on the shoulders with this finish. Not at all. Corbin had to pretend like he couldn't kick out. And then Mellow Trick and Corbin had to pull apart after the match. And I'll tell you what, they're they're grooming Corbin for a championship match in NXT in the best way possible. He got punked out by uh, Grimes. He lost in a minute here, you know. And this isn't Vince McMahon booking. This is Paul Levesque booking. You know, if it was Vince, we're going like, oh, my God, they're – totally screwing nxt but uh you know it's like uh they're not this is just the way that they uh they feel they they're getting corbin over by having him uh lose to everyone excuse me they're getting him over that's that's, i missed that part no that's that's the idea wow yeah he got beaten up by cameron grimes after this match as well eo sky and shotzi another quick match uh shotzi's up top and refs distracted Bailey yanked her off the top, and Shotzi just flew off the top and hit the back of her skull on the top turnbuckle and then uh, got moonsaulted and pinned. That looked like a horrible bump. Yeah. So uh, EO is in the Money in the Bank. Mm-hmm. We had uh, Kevin meeting with Sammy, and literally every team on the roster showed up wanting a title shot. Kevin flipped his lid. Adam Pierce showed up and said next week, Gauntlet. And the winning team will get a tag title match. Yeah, they definitely focused very heavily on Pretty Deadly as the key team. Um, but it's going to be Pretty Deadly, Street Profits, um, Legato, and um, Anderson, and Gallows. And who's the other one? It was five teams. I just saw Rolling Brutes, Good Brothers, Bro- Street Bro- Profits, Bro- Brutes, Legato. Yeah, yeah. yeah Seamus and, Sheamus and um, Ridge, right? Yeah. Then the main event was Austin Theory, Jay Uso for the U.S. title. Jay was the obvious babyface in this match, and he's making his big comeback. He goes for a super kick. He accidentally takes out the referee, hits the big splash, gets the pin, but there's no ref. Pretty Deadly comes down to the ring. They're going after Jay. Jimmy hits the ring to make the save for his brother. Solo then runs down. He takes out Jimmy, and he's going for the spike. Jay ends up grabbing his arm to save his brother. Jimmy then tries to super kick solo, but he super kicks Jay on accident. And uh, he takes out solo. The ref wakes up. Austin Theory covers Jay and gets the pin. So uh, very clever uh, mm-hmm. the way they did that finish there because now Jay's all upset. And of course, the story here was that he had to make his decision. But after that happened, he doesn't make his decision. Jimmy gets in the ring. Jay shoves well, the other, the him. Other, the, other, the other part of this decision is is that if Jay goes to the bloodline, then Heyman's out. Yes. So, so uh, you know, Jay shoves Jimmy. Jimmy tries to explain what happens. Jay storms off. Heyman apologizes to him. Jay heads to the back. So, yeah, next week, Jay has to make his decision. Again. And apparently his stip is if he's in the bloodline, Heyman's got to go. So, and Roman will be there next week. Yep, Roman's going to be there next week. This plaque. I'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque. Yeah, Bischoff. Paul and Bischoff or who? What in God's name is going on? Uh-oh. Who let you in here? Everybody's favorite. Come over here. You can't even be seen. 
What? Oh my God. Oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented oh, at F4W that. Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh-huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, you big fat whale. Yes. <laughs> Thank you to everybody hey! out there. Uh-oh. Hey! Uh what are you doing? Brian? Oreo? Hey, oh. I'm taking over the show. Oh, no. Dom, Oreo. hit that music, brother. Ah, oh, the hell with it. You know what? It's Monday. It's dance party. No, man. Hey, no. Hey. I love you guys. I love you. Oh. When can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? I think we may have started something new here. I hate that whale! If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.